Earl, uh, Coach was just in here and saying that, that you pretty much got carte blanche to do what you want to do, and uh, you know, as long as you're responsible about it. How do you feel about that, and what uh, what has changed in your game that to give him that much confidence in you? Um, I feel really good about that. Um, ever since I got here, Coach McGee's is really like he had confidence in me, and I really appreciate that. Appreciate that from him, and really confidence in all our guys. Like everybody just going on there playing free. As long as we're making the right plays, we playing hard on defense. He gives us that freedom, and that's what you want in a coach. Yeah, a, a few weeks ago, people were saying this team couldn't be motivated or questioned how to be motivated. The last two games, you guys have played incredibly hard. What what's been the difference? Really. Really just that spirit Coach McGee's is just having, like, that's been big. And then we just knowing, like, we can compete with anybody. And we just feel like we're a really good team. We have all the pieces. We're just still trying to put it together. But I feel like these last two games are really show, like, how good we really are. And if we compete, we can stay in the game with anybody. L, how difficult is it to try to keep your composure when things are getting tough and kind of going back and forth and, you know, some calls that may not have went your way? It's rough. It really is. But um, you just got to stay composed in those moments. Like, you can't get too too down. You got to keep your head up. And I think that's what we did. Like, through everything that was going on, I feel like that we kept our heads up and we kept fighting no matter what. I'm really proud of our group. L, you came off the bench for 25 tonight. Uh, how big of a confidence booster is this for you going into the next few games here? Um, that's a big confidence booster for me. But, um, all my teammates, the coaches that they have faith in me. Um, I just feel comfortable coming off the bench. Or, I mean, I just know how to flow the games going. Um, and I just know my guys are going to help me get in the right spots, help me out throughout the game. So, I mean, I feel really confident right now. Can, can you describe the – you have words to describe the intensity and what was going on the last – well, in the overtime, the last few minutes of regulation. I mean, it was back and forth, back and forth. And looked like every, everybody, all ten – People on the floor were really competing. Yeah, that was yeah, that overtime, the last couple of minutes, second half. That was a great game. Like everybody fought. You could see it in everybody's eyes that they wanted to win. And I knew uh, my guys were side me. They wanted to win. Um, we just came on short, but we're gonna keep fighting no matter what. El, how did you guys, as a as a team, sort of take to the idea of, of Malik being suspended and and not being there tonight? Um, it was it was rough for us at first, but we know how good of a team we have and. Gabe stepped up. Gabe got in there. He hasn't played in I don't know how many games. He came in there, played hard on Baycott, rebounded, boxed out, got us open. That was huge. And that just shows like how good of a team we are. Like we have 14 scholarship guys. Like and shout out to Gabe. Like he's coming to practice every day and compete no matter what. So I'm proud of him. You climbed back from ten points down and you hit a three to give uh, Louisville the lead. And as you ran down the court, you jumped up and swung your arm. It looked a lot like a celebration of Michael Jordan and we've seen a thousand times. Is that uh, a homage to him or uh, do you have him in mind when you did that? No, I just. remember it all? Yeah, I remember. Uh, I just play with a lot of emotion, uh, a lot of passion. Like, uh, that's just how I get going. That's just how I get going. And I mean, I did, I did what I could. That moment, like I'll never forget that moment, though. You know, Co Coach Pegues talks a lot about your defense. Are you going to point out to him that you tied the game at the end thanks to a defensive play? <laughs> no, nah, I'm not. I gave up a, a big back door uh, late second half, so I can't even point it out. But that that still at the end was pretty big. I know he'll be proud of me about that one. L is a uh, right here in the back. As a guy from Durham, to have two performances like this against two schools like Duke and North Carolina, what does that mean to you personally? Man, that's big. Um, just growing up watching those two schools, like I don't stay far from neither one of them, so that was big. Like th these two games were really important to me. Um, I know it was important for our team, but like I really wanted to play well against those schools because I mean I was right there and I've never heard from them. So the game, those two games were big. You feel like you had something to prove, I guess, in both cases. Honestly, I feel like every game I got something to prove, honestly. Thank you. Thank so. you.